Did you know that over 2,000 years ago, a Greek librarian was able to measure the Earth within 2% error? This is Eratosthenes. Hello. He was born in 276 BC in Cyrene, Greece. As a young child, he would ask hundreds of questions. He later became head librarian at the Library of Alexandria, where he came up with his plan to measure the Earth. Imagine the Earth as a grapefruit. You can see that it's made up of many smaller sections. If you add up all these sections, you get the total circumference. Eratosthenes would measure one such section. Then, if he could find the inside angle of that arc, he could figure out how many sections of that distance made up the Earth's circumference. He chose to measure the arc between two Egyptian cities, Syene and Alexandria. By counting strides, he estimated the distance to be 5,000 stadia, or about 500 miles. Next, he needed the inside angle of the arc. Eratosthenes knew that in Syene, for a few minutes every year, the sun shone directly down a well with no shadows. However, at the same moment, shadows would be cast in Alexandria, which is farther north. Eratosthenes erected a pole in Alexandria, and at noon on the summer solstice, he measured its shadow. He needed this measurement in order to find this angle between the sun's rays and the vertical pole, which he knew would be equivalent to this inside angle of the arc from Syene to Alexandria. Notice that the sun's rays form parallel lines, and the line through the pole into the center of the earth forms a transversal. The alternate interior angles theorem tells us that these two angles are congruent. Since tangent ratios were unlikely known at this time, one theory is that Eratosthenes created a similar triangle on a smaller scale and measured this angle. He found it to be 7.2 degrees. Knowing that this angle was equivalent to the inside angle of the arc, Eratosthenes took the total degrees in a circle, 360, and divided it by the 7.2 degrees, and found that the section of the Earth he measured was only 1 50th of the Earth's circumference. He then multiplied his measured distance by 50, and estimated the circumference of the Earth to be 250,000 stadia, or about 24,390 miles. We know today that the actual north-south circumference of the Earth is 24,855 miles, which is only 2% more than what Eratosthenes found over 2,000 years ago, using only simple geometry and a wooden beam.